I've been interested in environmental issues as long as I remember, since I was a kid. I think it really started for me when um, my family used to go backpacking in the Pacific Northwest. We used to load up all our stuff in our little Toyota station wagon, drive out into the woods, and this was before there were DVD players in cars, so we used to actually look out the window and talk to each other. And my siblings and I would see the clear cuts, and we just wondered, who would do that to a forest? Um, as a kid, we didn't have the vocabulary about carbon sequestration and moderation of the hydrological cycle, but seeing a huge clear cut in the beautiful Cascades, we just knew there was something wrong. So I started to develop a real curiosity about how, the, how who's taking care of our natural resources, who's making these decisions. I wondered about democracy as, in terms of decision makings, when, where was the forest going? Going. So I just started asking a lot of questions. It was really curiosity that kept me going. And then as I went through life, I just started looking at, at garbage and materials and stuff and how things move around and the, the structures and the culture and the values that influence these. And it got me to this path that led me to right here today. My main message today is that there is a better way. It is absolutely possible for us to live on this planet in a way that's more sustainable, more healthy, more just, and way more fun. The kind of economy that we have today that is really a sort of hyper-consumption-based economy, loaded with toxic chemicals, obsessed with economic growth about everything else, that's just one model. We don't have to have an economy in society like that. We can have an economy that embodies different values of empathy and respect and collaboration, we really can live a better way. It's important for people to realize that because if we don't believe that things can be better, it's easy to just become apathetic or, or feel like you just want to give up. But it absolutely is possible. We have model policies all over the world that we could adopt here. We have incredible technological advances. The one thing that we're missing is an engaged citizenry demanding a better way. And so my number one message is turn off the TV, get off the couch, stand up, get some friends, get involved and join the movement for a better future. Right, I often talk about how we all have two different parts of ourselves. It's almost like two different muscles. We have a consumer muscle and a citizen muscle. And that consumer muscle is um, spoken to and validated and nurtured so much. It's, it's really the main way that we're called upon to relate to each other. In fact, media often uses the word human being and consumer interchangeably as though that's our number one reason for existing. And so while our consumer muscle is really overdeveloped, our citizen muscle is atrophying. We need to step out of our consumer self and into our citizen self because the kind of problems we're facing today, they are not going to be solved by sh better shopping alone. They're going to be solved by engaging as active citizens working together for real systemic solutions. You know, I don't like to pick just one issue to ask people to work on because when I think of all the possible things there are to do to help, it is like a delicious all-you-can-eat smorgasbord buffet. I mean, there are so many ways people can get involved. So I say find the thing that most excites you. If you're most into young people, get involved with environmental education to raise up the next generation of leaders. If you're most interested in food and healthy food systems, get your college campuses to provide local organic food. If you're most interested in transportation, you can work for bike lanes on your campus. If you're most interested in divestment, you can get your college to divest. I mean, there are literally an infinite number of ways to get involved. So pick the way that most turns you on, that most excites you, because we have a lot of work ahead of us, and it's going to be a lot more fun if you like what you're doing.